Hello and welcome to the Ink Expert Sublimation Academy. Today we're looking at setting up an ICC profile for Rico and Sawgrass printers in Serif Affinity on Windows. In this tutorial we're setting up the Sawgrass or Rico printer for use in Affinity Designer. A Rico printer is exactly the same as a Sawgrass printer on all design level. The SG400 Sawgrass printer is actually based on the Rico. 3110. So all settings are exactly the same. So with that in mind we'll now go to Affinity Designer where our image is open and we'll get this setup ready for printing. And this is sized ready to go but in the Sawgrass and Rico drivers you can't mirror flip your image so this has to be done manually in your image editor. To do this in Affinity Designer we need to go to Layer, Transform and then we click flip horizontal. This will ensure that what prints out will look the right way around when pressed. With this done, we next need to print the image. So we go to file and print. In our demonstration, we're using the Sawgrass SG400 printer. Now we need to set the profile for this machine to make sure the colors are accurate. So we go to color management in the bottom menu here Colour handling should be performed by the app and we next need to change the printer profile to the downloaded profile from Ink Experts. In our case this is the SG400 Subly Style profile. With that selected we next need to change our rendering intent. Now Ink Experts recommend the use of perceptual intent. Now this gives you a more natural colour but all of these options will change the way your final image looks. Relative colour metric, for instance, will give you a much more punchy and vibrant colour. So do play around with these just to see which suits your design best. With Perceptual selected, I next need to change my printer settings. So we go to the Properties box just here. In this Print Driver window, we need to go to Detailed Settings. In detailed settings, we select paper and we need to change our paper type from plain to glossy. Now this should have automatically changed our quality type as well, but we'll check just to make sure. So we need to click print quality in the menu here. And as you can see, our quality has changed to quality priority, which is what we need. And the last thing to check is our color profile we need to ensure that this is turned off in the printer driver so that the app can handle all color management without hindrance. And with that set, we click OK and OK again to print. That will push the job through to our printer and once finished, we'll be able to press it onto our sublimit. Thanks for watching this video. For more, Please visit inkexperts.co.uk forward slash sublimation academy and don't forget to like and subscribe.